So you have this driver, Jonathan, right? Uh, five stars. In fact, he does 82 ratings this week, 82 in a row, all 5.0, right? And then something very, very strange happens, and this happens to a lot of drivers out there, right? And very often when you call back or you try to get customer service, you get a whole bunch of different excuses why they deactivated you. And this is literally after that powerful week 5.0. It doesn't get better than that, right? 82 straight fives. Now, right after that week, your account has been deactivated. Jonathan, thank you for all your fantastic work. 82 five-star trips. Your account has been deactivated. We reached out to you about three-star or lower ratings from your passengers due to safety concerns because this problem has continued. Your driver account has been deactivated to help keep your platform running smoothly. Now, in my eyes, his platform is running perfectly, right? 82 five-star trips. Doesn't get better than that. History of all the trips right up there, just under five. And then you get smacked down with something like this. So like what, what's going on there, right? Why are they trying to get rid of good drivers, right? The best of the best, creme de la creme. People have done 15, 20,000 trips have always been giving their best, their most, their uttermost. They're doing everything for the company. They're making them a lot of money. And then you get slapped in the face with something like this. So I hear this every day. I get about 300 uh, messages a day, text messages and emails. It's one of the main reasons I channeled five, six years of knowledge into GigRocket. Go check it out, gigrocket.com, right? Because just in the last two days, we filed 15 cases, right? Out go the legal letters to the right departments at Uber and Lyft and the other companies. It has to be sent to the right department and saying, hey, here's the proof. What's going on, right? Is your customer service making up crap? Are they not communicating with one another? Uh, did a manager make a different decision to your front desk helper? Or did your specialized team see something that we didn't see, right? You got to help me out here, Lyft. You got to help me out here, Uber, Dara, Logan. Help me out here. Help me understand how you guys operate. Because the way I see the real world, and I deal with the real world and real drivers every single day, right? Unlike you, sitting in your corporate suite collecting top dollars, right? What I see is drivers giving you everything during a pandemic, right? What I see is the most essential of essential helpers out there because without them, the economy breaks down. They, don't, they can't take the professionals to their jobs or the nurses to the hospitals. Without these individuals, these five-star individuals, nothing works. The economy doesn't roll. The economy doesn't tick. It doesn't operate. And then you have the audacity, the cheek, to slap them in the face with something like this. Now, you executives, I, I know you don't like talking to people. I know you don't want to come down to our level. But, like, you need to make us understand your reasoning. Because your reasoning does not make sense to me. And because it does not make sense to me, I decided to slap these companies so hard. Every single time there is something like this, we fight back on Gig Rocket, right? And, and go and do the, the white glove course because out go the letters. If need be, a second letter. And if they don't listen, right there and then, we drag them into arbitration or small claims court. 90% of the times we drag them into small claims court. And right now, Jonathan is losing money. And his stress levels are up. I've spoken to him, real driver, giving his very, very best, right? His very best. You, you can't get better than that in one week. Guy's given you 82 trips in one week. 82 people have rated him five stars. 
82 people he's brought back safely. And then you say, huh, three people rated you under, under how many stars? Under three people gave you low ratings and we decided to act, deactivate you. I'm not going to stand for that, right? Because there is a major shift here. I do not know why these companies are getting, good of, getting rid of good drivers. And when I started talking to attorneys and paralegals, and I talk to them every single day, various attorneys and lawyers and paralegals around the country, right? Because they know that, I'm, A, I'm fighting for the driver. They know that I will bring them the cases, whether it's sexual harassment, whether it's, um, you know, unlawful, wrongful termination, right? I've had it with these companies. And the more money I can cost them, the more drivers I can funnel into lawsuits, the more drivers and delivery drivers I can funnel into small claim suits, into arbitration cases, the more they will pay. And eventually they will understand that this year ain't going to fly. It just costs them too much money. So it's truly my goal. And I have funneled thousands and thousands of drivers. No lies. I mean, you, you verify this with attorneys and law firms from Massachusetts to Vegas to California. I send them drivers so we get paid. Why? Because of that mistreatment. Because of the way they think they can arrogantly slap us down with a comment like this. And when you call, here's the say, when you call up customer service, right? Now suddenly you get three or four different variations why they deactivated you. Suddenly this story is old and now we found this. Do they just suck these excuses out of thin air? Do they pull it out of their backside? I don't know. Because I, 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 have, a, I, have, I have a lot of difficulty getting into their minds, into customer service minds, into the executive minds, right? And, you know, the, the only way I can explain it is that the stock is sitting at $35 today, right? The, the only way I can explain it is that you have a bunch of fools running the show and one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing. And one person doesn't, you know, there's a phone call and they're not receiving the same message. Mind boggling, my friends, mind boggling. But the rocket... It's going to fly straight through their building, straight through, straight through that headquarters at 1455 or in Berry Street, go straight through into their legal department and say, hey, you're screwing this driver over. You are truly screwing Jonathan over, who's giving you everything. And we're not going to tolerate that. And if you don't listen, you're going to pay. So there's three steps in place. It's not, doesn't just start and end with an attorney letter that's setting the tone because they're getting a lot of these letters now and every time they don't respond we go one step further we escalate it up to the point where go and defend yourself gig company because that costs you a minimum of twenty five hundred dollars right you have to fly your paralegal or your individual to some court around the country and you got to go and and 99.9% and .9 of the time I know I've tested this over and over and over and over and over and over again you don't show up so the judge the, the 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 plaintiff the driver the delivery driver wins on default because you don't show up so you have this money you literally have $2500 to go and waste and then furthermore you have you have another 30 days which the court says you owe him these damages, right? Because he's out of work. He's done nothing wrong. You didn't show up at court. I'm talking about Uber. And then they have additional damages. So two and a half becomes 5,000, 7,000, 10, becomes $12,000 sometimes, right? And apparently they have that money. So we go after them hard and heavy. And now we're going to do it by the numbers, right? We're going to put this system, this gig rocket system, on steroids because this has to end this has to end it is very clear to me and i bet you very clear to 99.9999 percent of you guys out there that you're dealing with a good driver with a long history right of top notch you don't you don't you don't get a guy who does 4.3 
for a year and then suddenly goes to five. It's, it's consistency, right? You either believe in service because service equates to tips, right? Because you cherish your car, you clean it on the inside, you clean it on the outside, right? That's how you get there. And there must be such a massive disconnect between management, middle management, upper management, executives, and your customer service, which is atrocious, which is like the most pathetic thing ever, right? A lady was raped for 90 minutes and 911, the actual authorities were trying to get hold of Uber support, their 911 support, and nobody answered. How many times have you dialed 1-800-579, whatever the number is, no one answers or no one understands your issue. How many times have you gone to a hub where, sorry, there's no one here, make an appointment or, you know, we'll escalate this higher to a specialized team. So is it their goal to keep you in that cycle, in that vicious hamster wheel cycle, right? That, so that you will eventually burn out and give up. I don't believe in that. I don't give up. I was not, I, since a kid, I was raised to never, ever give up. If I failed, at least I tried, but I never gave up, right? And I will not give up until I understand why a five-star rated driver, one week, straight up 82 ratings this week, this week, right? And then they deactivate him. And then their excuse is, your account has been deactivated. We've reached out to you about three star or lower ratings from your passengers. It's impossible. So when riders start fabricating things, fabricating stories to maybe save the fare, you know, get monies back or make up some nonsense story because they got hit with a cleaning fee because they vomited in somebody's car on a Saturday night. Uber and Lyft and these other companies will always have the riders back, right? They are three, if, if these are real, these are three bogus individuals who try to punish a five-star rider, a driver, because that five-star driver got 82, five, and I know the guy's history, right? It's 4.98 or something like that, right? So short of five over entire history, years and years of driving. If you guys have the answer, educate me. I'm, I'm always here and I'm always willing to be educated. I am clueless how their system works, if there even is a system or if there's training. How do they train up the support? But what I will not stand for, and I'm repeating myself for the 25th thousandth time, is that I'm not going to stand for wrongful deactivations and BS stories by customer service, which vary from this story to that story to that. From call to call, the story starts changing. I'm not going to stand for that anymore. And the only way I can punish these companies is death by a thousand cuts, right? You get out a whip and you start lashing. Another small claims. Another small claims. Another arbitration. Another arbitration. Another 12,000. Another 2,500. Another 7,500. Another small claims. You guys get, you get the idea, right? I could carry all that. So if you're okay with that, if you, if you like to be whipped, Uber and Lyft, I'm going to give you a whipping, a royal whipping. And it's called the whipping that costs you money. Because today, with this new company we've formed and with the team in place, we're going to put an end to the shenanigans. I wish you guys an amazing weekend. Um, the week ahead, Monday, is just literally around the corner. Continue. Continue to be who you are. Continue to be that five-star driver. Continue to give it your all because the good riders 
that understand that value and tip you well. Those are the people that you want to make happy and those are the people you want to connect with. Because good riders, and there are many, many, many good riders out there. They, good riders outnumber the bad riders, right? And when I say the, the, the bad riders, the people that signed up on these services for the wrong reason, to carjack you or to knife you or to shoot you. I'll tell you what, the good riders outnumber the bad riders and the good riders appreciate five-star drivers and the good riders pay you well and they tip you well, right? We don't work, I don't even think they exist, these three, but we don't work for those people. And the sad thing is the company doesn't have our back and doesn't get rid of this type of riffraff, right? So filing a couple of false reports to get their money back and miraculously Uber and Lyft will allow them to stay on the platform because they do want to make scraps here and there, right? Instead of chopping them, instead of insisting they have a photo, a real name, or maybe a background check. So we don't have to run into these safety traps all the time and take care of us, ourselves. Now I'll tell you what, sign of the times, crazy times, if you are in a state and you can get yourself a concealed weapon, go get it, right? Those companies don't even notify those companies that you got a concealed weapon, right? Because they're not going to check that unless they run uh, weapon checks or, 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 or checks against, you know, gun stores or whatever to see whether you have a gun or not. But your lives, my friends, comes first because you should never deal with these people that give you these three-star fake low ratings or these people that intend to steal your car, right? Fight back. Now, a lot of people don't like my method. Three, four years ago, I'd never have to make this video. But when things change, sign of the times, and we're in danger, and your life is more important than the perpetrator, the woman's life is more important than the individual that intends to rape her, I'll tell you what, take matters into your own hand. Those companies don't have to know about that. But stay protected, stay safe at all times, lock your cars, don't use those in-app 911s, they don't work. The 911 Uber safety toolkit and all that BS, it doesn't work. Make sure you have backup numbers or call 911 directly and make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a plan. Have a great day, my friends. Stay safe.